I'm Brenna Green live in Indianapolis as the Zags are just one day away from their game in the final four against UCLA. But I'm not the only one in on this special tonight. Karthik Venkatraman is live in studio tonight as well. Hi, Karthik. Hey, Brenna, and hey, everyone joining us. The Gonzaga men's basketball team had their press conference today with reporters ahead of their big game against UCLA tomorrow. Yeah, and one thing was made clear in that presser, Karthik. They are laser focused. So would have told you before the year you guys would go into the final four undefeated. What would your reaction have been? I would have laughed. <laughs> I would have just absolutely laughed. Mark Few has laughed all the way to the pinnacle of the sport. Today he was awarded two National Coach of the Year awards, one of which was from the National Association of Basketball Coaches. He says that award is particularly sweet. Well, man, it, it is a, a, a huge honor. It's a special award because it is from uh, uh, the coaches and, and uh, yeah, it's something I'll, I'll really cherish. Something he'll also really cherish is his team's time in the bubble this year. He says it's unfortunate that the Zags won't be able to have the fanfare of the 2017 Final Four, but there are also some positives. The flip side of it is, man, I mean, we're so focused and, and the, the, there's no distractions. None of us are having to worry about tickets and worrying about trying to connect with our families around the schedule that we have. So you get some great camaraderie, you know, as if we need it anymore, but it's been great to have it of just all of us together on this, and that's all we got. If there is anyone on this team who's had a breakout tournament, it's Drew Timmy, but he echoes few sentiment. The best thing about this run for him has nothing to do with himself. Favorite thing I've done is just we've been winning. That's been the only thing on my mind, and that's the only thing that I'm excited about and uh, I can't wait to get out there and play tomorrow. And that brings us back to being undefeated. These Zags right now are just aiming to go 1-0 on Saturday. We're not focusing too much on what we have done. The mission's in front of us and we got a lot we can work on and get better on. So uh, we're focused on this game coming up with UCLA and that's the only thing on our mind right now. Now, I don't know if those of you at home noticed or not, but Drew not rocking the Fu Manchu anymore. It has turned into a beard. Of course, he was asked today at his, the press conference if he was going to shave it come Saturday. And he said, well, my facial hair kind of has a mind of its own and I let it decide what it wants to do. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see for tomorrow. Back to you, Karthik. Yeah, I hope he decides that that Fu Manchu is coming back because I absolutely love it. All right, moving on. UCLA's head coach Mick Cronin also spoke to reporters today. He had some pretty high praises for Gonzaga and the talent on their roster. You know, Cronin said this is like any other game as far as preparation goes, but really it's not because of how good the Bulldogs are. He compared the Zags to previous NBA champions like the San Antonio Spurs and Golden State Warriors simply because G was so good at passing the ball. He said the Bruins have to find a way to muddy up Gonzaga's offense, but knows the talent such as Jalen Suggs on Gonzaga's roster. Talent combined with unselfishness is why they're such a, a, a really tough out and a team to stop. The freshman that they play has got a chance to be an NBA Hall of Famer. They have great players that pass the ball. So they remind me of, you know, I think of pro teams that won titles like the Spurs or the Warriors. Uh, you know, great, great teams that really pass the ball to each other. If, you, if you're out of position, they find the open man. If they draw a double team, they find the open man. They really play the game the right way. Uh, that's what jumps off the page to me. Has faced UCLA twice in the NCAA tournament, once in 2015, and then there's that other time in 2006. Yeah, that 2006 Sweet 16 matchup is one of the most, if not the most, heartbreaking loss for Gonzaga fans in their history. Earlier today, our Creme 2's Mark Hanrahan spoke with Derek Ravio, a member of that GU squad, about his experience back then and also what he sees in this Gonzaga team now. And that's it! What a comeback! That's when I wish I could get back. Um, but hopefully it's uh, 
during those three revenge tomorrow. 15 years later and the loss still stings. In 2006, Gonzaga's season ended with Adam Morrison in tears. The Bruins scored the final 11 points of the game to beat Gonzaga by two and advance to the Elite Eight. UCLA was a three seed that year, Gonzaga a two seed. Derek Ravio was a junior and ran the point for the Bulldogs. UCLA kind of had that momentum going. Um, we were in control most of that game. And um, I feel like we kind of took the pedal off the, you know, off the gas a little. And uh, we weren't as aggressive and not as, you know, in attack mode. And, you know, a lot of things went right for UCLA and it just, you know, unraveled. Nine years later, the Bulldogs and Bruins met again in the Sweet 16. This time, Gonzaga took care of business, beating UCLA by 12 to advance to the Elite Eight. Saturday, the teams meet up again, this time in the Final Four. Ravio likes GU's chances. When it comes to the tournament, it's all about matchups, who's hot, you know, who's playing the best at this time of year, and a little luck. And uh, I think they're rolling right now. They've got a lot of confidence, and uh, they've got great momentum. As for Ravio, the following year, he was named Co-West Coast Conference Player of the Year. He went on to play 10 years overseas before returning to Spokane a few years ago. He knows his alma mater has a great shot at winning a national title, but he says the focus right now is beating UCLA. The player side, you know, you don't want to take added uh, pressure. So it's like, you don't want those guys to think about it. Um, I'm sure the coaches are telling them, hey, you know, a game at a time, practice at a time. But um, I think it'd be really special for the school and especially the region and the city. Fun fact about Ravio, he's second all time in D1 basketball for free throw shooting percentage, Brenda, 92.7% from the charity stripe. That's pretty impressive. We all know how important those free throws are, especially in close games. We'll just have to see how everything unfolds tomorrow. But as we get ready for that, we're also very excited about this. Spokane Valley natives Lexi and Lacey Hole are headed to the women's NCAA championship game with Stanford. Yeah, the Cardinal defeated South Carolina today in a thrilling final four game. Final of the game was 66 to 65. This is the furthest the Central Valley graduates have ever made it in the big dance. So here they were, the thrilling finish right here. Came down to the wire, South Carolina gets a steal. But that's Lexi Hole right there that you're going to see come up with the crucial defensive stop. And then the Gamecocks are unable to hit the follow-up at the buzzer, and Stanford would hold on. Lexi, fantastic game. 18 points, 13 rebounds, 4 assists. Her sister Lacey, 1.1 steal and 1 assist. The whole twins are in Stanford. will play the winner of UConn and Arizona, who are playing right now on Sunday for that championship. Brennan. That's the first time I heard that stat line. Wow, that's incredible. Jalen Suggs family is all basketball all the time, especially during March Madness. Coming up, what traveling to see their son competing in the big big dance means to the Suggs. There's not much I can say, you know, they're all, they've all made it further than I ever have. One of Gonzaga's most successful NBA players, DeMontis Sabonis, is in Indy where the Zags will take on UCLA. He might not be able to cheer on GU in person, but up ahead, he talks all things Gonzaga heading into the Final Four.